Okay, I'm going to show you a quick way on how to enhance eyes and, and eye, eye color, actually. Uh, first thing you want to do is create a new layer over here, and because we don't want to affect uh, the original image. You want to be on a new layer, call it eye enhancement, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, go to your marquee tool here, you want your elliptical, and you want to highlight that area there. Now, a little trick here with the marquee, if you hold down spacebar and the mouse at the same time, you can move the marquee around to a different area. Um, as you're reshaping it, if you want it to keep, you know, a perfect circle and constraint to its a perfect circle size, you press shift. You could use a you know, combination between shift and spacebar to move it around and uh, make the shape that you want. That works for me. Uh, if you press shift again, we'll actually hold it and you'll see a little plus sign. Uh, and you drag again. That's adding to the existing marquee. Okay, now what we want to do is choose a, a good blue color. I want to make our eyes more blue. Um, that'll, that'll work out just fine. And just uh, go to your paint bucket and dump it in there. And go to, uh, let's see here, we want to deselect this, so press Command-D, or if you're a PC, press uh, Alt-D. Now go to your layer options, and we want to make this screen, oh, I'm sorry, we want to make this soft light. You can kind of see how it overlays itself and lets everything else kind of shine through there. Uh, we're almost there. What we want to do is uh, adjust the brightness contrast, so go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness contrast and uh, adjust the blue here. Almost there. Uh, we want to clean this color up here. Uh, I've noticed that usually eyes go from dark to light from top to bottom. We need to clean up the overlaying color here and the eyelashes and stuff. So press E for your eraser tool. Let's make sure we're in a Nice feathered brush. Opacity could is fine at 80. And we just kind of want to go in there and clean that up on our eyelashes. And then uh, we kind of want to erase a bit here where the pupil is. So I'm going to put my opacity at about uh, 20 and kind of go in here. You want to make that black powder for eye black, you know, black. Otherwise it doesn't look very natural. So we just kind of clean that up and clean up the edges. The opacity at 20 isn't, isn't uh, removing the color 100%, just little by little. So, um, and that's how, that's how you enhance these eyes. You can go here and uh, in the layer option menu and adjust the opacity. Because if you think this is too intense, you could you could you know maybe reduce it to you know 89 for not you know it's all personal preference. You just want it to make it look natural. You don't want to make it look fake, and and that's the main goal.